Hi, my name is Dan Lynch with the Pennsylvania Game Commission, and today I'm going to read a story about beavers. So this book is called Beavers. It's written by Deborah Hodge and illustrated by Pat Stevens. Beavers are wild animals that live in ponds, lakes, and streams. They are strong swimmers and graceful divers. Beavers are mammals. Mammals have lungs and furry bodies. The babies drink their mother's milk. Like all mammals, the beaver is warm-blooded. Its body temperature stays warm even in icy water. Beavers are skillful builders. They cut down trees with their long, sharp teeth. They float the trees through water. They stack them to build large homes and dams. Beaver fact is that they can live up to 12 years in the wild. A beaver is a rodent, a mammal whose front teeth never stop growing. There are about 3,000 kinds of rodents in the world. They include squirrels, chipmunks, rats, mice, and porcupines. Like the beaver, a few other rodents live in and around the water. They are the capybara, nutria, and muskrat. Although these rodents are like beavers in some ways, they are not closely related. The muskrat lives in North America and it has a strong musky scent. The beaver is the largest rodent in North America. An adult weighs from 16 to 32 kilograms, which is 35 to 70 pounds, and is as much as large as a large dog. The nutria, also called the koipu, has a long round tail. Nutrias are found in South America and the Southern United States. Like this beaver, all rodents chew on tough things to keep their teeth right, keep te their teeth the right length. Beavers chew wood. The capybara is the biggest rodent in the world, about the size of a small pig. It lives near rivers and ponds in South America. To survive, beavers need trees and water. Trees provide beavers with food and wood for building. Living in water helps them stay safe. If danger threatens, beavers can swim away. Beavers are found in most wild areas of North America. Small numbers also live in Europe, Asia, and at the tip of South America. Beavers live near woods and streams, ponds, or lakes. Each family has its own home area. A family is often made up of parents, babies, and older sisters and brothers. A beaver fact is that millions of years ago, beavers lived in many northern parts of the world, some were as big as bears. Beavers are plant eaters. They feed on tree bark all year round. In spring and summer, they also eat new green plants. Beavers have razor, razor sharp teeth for cutting trees. Special chemicals in their stomachs help them digest the bark. Their favorite trees are aspens or poplars. They also eat the bark from willow, birch, and maple trees. The beaver rolls a twig between its paws to eat the tasty bark. Every fall, beavers in northern areas store food for winter. They cut trees into small pieces, then stack the wood near their lodge. All winter long, they will eat from this food pile. Beaver fact. A beaver family cuts down hundreds of trees a year. A year. <clears throat> the beaver's big back feet and powerful, ta powerful tail push it through the water. To speed up, the beaver pumps its tail hard. A fast-moving beaver can swim up to 10 kilom kilometers per hour, which is 6 miles per hour. Webbed feet make it hard to walk on land. The beaver's tail help it balance. A beaver's body is long and smooth in the water. This helps it to glide. These beavers often stay underwater for two or three minutes at a time. Beaver fact, a beaver can stay underwater for up to 15 minutes. Its heart slows down, so it needs less air. <clears throat> a beaver home is called a lodge. Beavers build their lodge in the deep pond behind their dam. Like the dam, the lodge is made up by, of piling sticks, rocks, and mud. It takes a pair of beavers about a week to build a lodge. They add to it and repair it often. Many times they have entrances near the bottom, um, the pond bottom, to help keep the enemies out. Tunnels lead out to the food pile. The beavers bring branches back to eat. Mud plastered on the outer walls dries hard. It holds the lodge together and keeps it dry. The beavers live in a small room above the water line. The baby beavers are born here in the spring. All winter long, the beaver family is safe and warm inside the lodge. Beaver fact, some beaver lodges last up to 30 years. <clears throat> when a mother beaver is ready to give birth, the whole family helps clean the lodge. They spread leaves and grasses on the floor. On this fresh bed, the mother gives birth to three or four babies. The babies are called kits. The newborn kits are covered with thick fur. Their eyes are open and their teeth are sharp. They look like tiny copies of their parents. As soon as they are born, the kits can see, hear, walk, and swim. A kit takes its first swim in the lodge tunnels. It can't waterproof its own fur yet, so the mother helps. Baby beavers drink their, milk, their mother's rich milk. Like human babies, kits cry when they're hungry and coo when they're full. Beaver fact. Beaver parents have a new litter of kits every spring. The whole family helps care for them. 
At one month, the kits are ready to leave the lodge. They copy their mother and learn how to find food and stay safe. By one year, the young beavers are strong enough to work. They cut trees and repair the dam or lodge. They help their parents care for a new litter of kits. At age two, the young beavers leave their parents. They find mates and build their own lodges. On land, a beaver may carry a kit in its paws. Beaver kits chase, wrestle, dive, and swim. Playing builds muscles and teaches the kits how to escape from their, en their enemies. If a kit gets tired, it rests on its mother's back. Beaver fact, unlike a human, a beaver keeps growing for as long as it lives. Wherever beavers live, they change the land and water around them. When beavers build a dam, a pond forms. The pond is home to birds, frogs, salamanders, insects, and fish. Tree cutting lets new plants grow in the forest. The plants feed rabbits, deer, and other forest animals. Once the food in an area is gone, the beavers move away. Their dam breaks down and water drains out of the pond. Rich soil is left behind. Soon a lush new meadow grows where the pond used to be. Beaver signs, tracks. The large beaver tracks across these pages are life size. How does your hand compare? Beavers make large stick piles in ponds and streams. A lodge has, rounded, has a rounded shape. A dam stretches across the water. Beavers leave, leave big tooth marks on the trees they cut down. Scent mounds. Beavers dig up piles of mud and leaves near the water's edge. They drop castoreum on top. The scent smells other scent tells other beavers to stay away. And some words to know. Castoreum is a scented oil stored in the glands under a beaver's tail. The dam is a stick and mud wall built by beavers across a stream or river. Lodge is a beaver home built of sticks and mud. Kit is a baby beaver. Mammal is a warm-blooded animal with fur covering whose babies are born live and fed their, their mother's milk. Mate, a male or female partner in a pair of beavers. A beaver and its mate live together and produce baby beavers. Rodent, an animal whose front teeth never stop growing and warm-blooded, having a warm body temperature even when the air or water is cold. So that's the book uh, called Beavers. <clears throat> Hope you enjoyed that story time with the Game Commission. I have a few uh, things here that talk a little bit about beavers to show you. I've got a nice beaver pelt here. What's interesting about this beaver pelt is that you can see the two layers of fur. You can see the outer long guard hairs, and then you can see the inner uh, fur uh, that helps to uh, hold a pocket of air down and keep the beaver nice and warm. Um, over here, I've got examples of uh, repla feet, so rubber feet. These are the hind feet of the beaver, and you can see the webbing in between the toes. And in between um, this toe right here on a real beaver's foot has a split toenail. And that split toenail that looks like this is used as a comb to help comb through the beaver's uh, hair and preen it like a bird would, would preen its feathers. The beaver's front foot sort of looks like our hand and it's got no webbing in between. So they, they don't use their front feet for swimming. They use their feet for holding on to things. They might hold on to sticks um, or um, brace themselves up against the tree when they're chewing it down. This particular stick is what uh, we call a peeler or a chew stick. And if you look real close, you can see all the tiny little chew marks on there from the incisor teeth. So the beaver did not eat the wood. He only ate the cambium layer. He spun this around and around in his mouth, kind of like we eat an ear of corn. And uh, so he did not eat the wood, as you can see there. And lots of people think that they do, but they, they don't actually eat wood. The other signs that I have here are uh, repla scat. So this is an example of, of the scat or the droppings of a beaver. Um, so it would be made primarily of shavings from all of the, the bark and the leaves that they eat. So they're not gonna be visible in the water for very long. When they leave them there, they're gonna dissipate and kind of just float away. The last thing I have here is a beaver skull. So you can see these really large incisor teeth um, that are super sharp um, and strong, but they're continuously growing. So as the beaver chews, he rubs them against each other and helps to wear them down and keep them sharp. And then you can see that they have very flat molars in the back, and that's just for grinding up the bark and the leaves and the aquatic plants that he eats. But the beaver has no canine teeth um, because he is a herbivore. All right, so I hope you got uh, had a good chance to learn a little bit about beavers. And again, thanks for joining the Game Commission with the story time about beavers.